Every single one of the professionals that we spoke with for this lesson underscored communication as a critical skill uh, that crosscuts no matter where you go in your career. And in the private sector, often what we are doing is that we're tailoring the information, the science, the data, the analytics to a specific customer who's going to be making a decision based on the information that we're providing. So knowing the basis for how they make decisions and then adjusting your communication style so that you can meet that need for your end customer is crucial. And the speakers here in this lesson will share some of their experiences. I spend a lot of time interacting with decision makers. So people who are building businesses, um, you talk about chief financial officers, chief executive officers, chief underwriters, and these are all people who are looking oftentimes top down at their business exposure to weather variability. And so what that means is I'm doing a lot of communication and translation. And so distilling down very complex models and topics and translating that atmospheric and model and statistics language into business language. Having the ability to explain a complex weather phenomenon in simple layman's terms to a non weather savvy individual is, in my opinion, a highly sought after skill uh, in the meteorological career field. Uh, no matter what uh, sector of weather that you find yourself in, however, uh, your client will likely need you to explain complex weather terms so that they can make quick, informed decisions. I've been the middleman between scientists trying to communicate and then actually doing the, the communication because the, the scientists that I was working with or talking with or was part of the conversation was unable to rephrase their concepts in terms that, that uh, the, the, the receiver of the information was able to understand. Any kind of communication out there is extremely important. It, I would say it's more important now than it used to be because there's so much data and a lot of times there's a lot of confusion of things out there, but that communication and getting to the bottom line that will help the end user make decisions, crucially important. Communication plays a really, really large role in my day-to-day -day work, whether that's communicating internally with the folks that I work with and also the external piece. So again, um, things like being on client calls and being presentable and, and knowing um, kind of the information you're presenting, being confident in that. Um, so having those communication skills, both orally and verbally, I think are really important. So, so being able to articulate things, whether it be verbal, or written is critical in knowing your audience. I can talk to anyone from a data scientist to the C-suite by just maneuvering and using the right terminology. So being able to practice that both internally and externally is really critical and important. You have to be able to sum up the essence and value of what it is that you do. And basically, if you don't speak that value in words that make sense to that person, and you're just not gonna get what you need. And so I find that I frequently need to use both uh, certainly persuasive writing to sort of really sort of get to what they care about to then try to create a linkage between what it is that our community cares about or really or really what my client cares about and, and then link that to what their priorities are. If you get an opportunity to take a communication course, take it. If you get an opportunity to uh, get training um, as it relates to being in front of the press, take it. When I think about different public speaking courses I've had or you know, what it means to, to get in front of you know, one person or many people, it's something that always made me very nervous. Um, I think over time between uh, formal training and internships and just getting up and doing it, I learned to channel that nervousness into a feeling of preparedness. As you've heard from our experts, communication skills are critical. Being able to summarize 
highly technical information and communicate that to um, a recipient who is not a meteorologist or a scientist in a way that helps them make very clear decisions and take very definitive action is an essential skill as you move across the private sector. If you're still on campus, um, take communication courses as electives. Uh, th those will help you to frame, to, to choose your audience and communicate specifically to them. If, if not a communication course, think about the communication opportunities that are within the courses you're currently taking. Um, the AMS, the American Meteorological Society, is an excellent venue for practicing presentations. There are also organizations uh, such as Toastmasters, where you have an opportunity to practice those skills in more of a social setting. Um, many meteorology pro programs will also offer electives in broadcast meteorology. While you may not want to pursue a career in broadcast meteorology, getting the skills of a broadcaster are teaching you communication skills.